our default for a lobectomy or any lung operation, if it can be done from an anatomic and patient safety perspective, is a minimally invasive approach, namely a robotic approach, where the patient receives four to six small incisions, and we can remove the, uh, uh, the lobe that way. Uh, and that, that gives obvious benefits with minimally invasive surgery, less pain, shorter hospital stay, and, and faster and better patient recovery. Now there are some lung tumors that are not amendable to a minimally invasive approach, in, in which case we perform the, uh, the, the larger incisions or the thoracotomy to safely remove a, a lobectomy or, or, a, or a tumor. When the patient comes in for surgery, they're greeted by you know, both myself, the surgeon, and the anesthesia team. And uh, they'll go to the operating room. We use what's called single lung ventilation. So they get a special breathing tube placed by anesthesia that allows us to see and work within the confines of the chest cavity, whether it be the right or the left. And then when we do a lobectomy, uh, what defines the lobe anatomically is each segment of the lung or the lobe has an artery, a vein, and an airway or a windpipe going to it. So with the robot, um, uh, we are able to encircle those structures and divide them to detach that lobe and then subsequently remove it. So before we do um, any surgery, especially for cancer, there's a thorough preoperative workup. We, we do staging scans, namely a PET scan, and we also check the patient's heart function. A lot of these patients will get a stress test or an echocardiogram because a lung surgery, even though it's not a heart surgery, it still stresses the heart to some degree. So we make sure your heart's healthy enough to withstand the operation. And we also test the lung function. We perform pulmonary function testing. And as long as the patient performs above a certain threshold, meaning it's safe to remove that lung, then we offer them the surgery. So if a patient who's a candidate in that regard, um, they expect that workup, and, and if, if that workup is satisfactory, then uh, they're candidates for surgery, which is the gold standard for removal of early stage lung cancer. For a typical robotic lobectomy, we use five small incisions. By small, I mean about the width of the thumb, and they're horizontal, and depending on which side the tumor is, right, right or left, they're along the side, from the back all the way up to the sternum, about one hand breadth apart. The primary surgeon, once all the ports are placed, that, that allows us to get our instruments in, attach those to the robot and, and get to work, sits at the robotic console. And the advantages of the robot is, of course, it's minimally invasive surgery, but you get a high definition three-dimensional camera view, which helps the surgeon a lot in, in regards to anatomy and, and, and getting around these structures safely, namely the artery, the vein, and the windpipe. There's a bedside assistant who assists with retraction from the actual bedside and passing of instruments and changing of instruments that we need to do the operation safely. From the time we place the ports, a typical robotic lobectomy takes, takes around two hours.